What's going on, everyone? What I have here is the whole hem. I Steady Pro 2 3 axis handheld stabilizing gimbal for action camera by Instamole Tech. Recently, I tried out the iSteady Mobile Plus with my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I like it so much, that's why I got the iSteady Pro 2 to try with my uh, GoPro Hero 3 Plus. So, I'm gonna do a, a quick unboxing and I'm gonna show you all the features the iSteady Pro 2 offer. So, let's check out the box. Hold him iSteady Pro 2 3 axis handheld stabilizing gimbal for action camera. In the back, got inception mode via panning 600 degree rotation, angle roll design enable unobstructed shooting and uh, framing. You have splash proof IPX4, enhanced motor solution to improve torsion 30%, and trigger button for sport mode and uh, recenter. All right, let's uh, open the box and check it out. It comes in a really nice carrying case. Hold him with a zipper, just like the iSteady Mobile Plus. What we have in the case is the instruction manual booklet. We have the micro USB type A to micro USB charging cable and the USB type C charging cable to charge your action camera with the gimbal and it comes with a mini tripod stand that's pretty uh, cool, just like the iSteady Mobile Plus. The iSteady Pro 2 is made of, of high quality plastic just like the iSteady Mobile Plus. The handle has this rubber grip to give you a good grip on the gimbal so it doesn't slip off your hand. We have the universal mount here for your action camera. And it does have a uh, charging port to charge your action camera while you're using the gimbal. In the front of the gimbal, you have the trigger button. You press the trigger button and hold it there. You put the gimbal in sport mode. You click the trigger button twice to center the gimbal. On the side of the gimbal, you get this a quarter 20 screw slot to mount a smartphone mount, a microphone, any accessory that you need for your gimbal. And the gimbal itself acts as a power bank. You can actually use this uh, USB Type A charging port here to charge your devices. And this is the micro USB to charge the gimbal. Here's the control for the gimbal. The joystick you can move up, down, left, and right. This is the row axis adjustment switch. You can adjust the gimbal negative 30 degree to plus 30 degree at an angle. And here is the mode button. You get three modes. The pan, the tilt and pan, the all lock, and the all follow. And this is the power button. On the side here, you have the four LED indicator for the battery life. And let's uh, try the mini uh, tripod on. This is really cool. I like this. You know, a lot of uh, gimbal that you buy, it doesn't come with the mini tripod. I'm going to mount my GoPro Hero 3 Plus onto the gimbal to show you guys the feature and the function of the gimbal. This is how I mount my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. There's two screws in the back here. All you do is just tighten up the screw. To turn, on, to turn on the gimbal, you 
Press and hold on to the power button. And it does self-balance with the action camera. And you can use the joystick here to move down, to go up, go left, and go right. And the trigger button right here, like uh, I said before, if you click on it twice, it will recenter the gimbal. And if you click on the trigger button and hold it, you put it in sport mode to where the gimbal, the action camera will move quick to whatever direction you uh, put it in. And this is the row axis adjustment switch. You can adjust negative 30 degree to plus 30 degree by pushing up or down. And then you click on the trigger button twice to recenter. Now let's test out the mode button. You click on the mode button once, you get one LED flash. That means it's in pan follow mode. What that does is when you move your gimbal right, left, your action camera will still face the same direction or down and up. But when you pan, the action camera will follow. Left right now to put in tilt and pan mode you click on the mode button twice one two you get two LED flash now what that does is when you move your gimbal down the your action camera follow you go up the action camera move up but when you go right or left if still face in the same direction and you pan it will follow to the right and you pan to the left it will follow to the left that is pan and tilt follow now to get into lock mode you click on the mode button three times one two three the action camera will face in one direction doesn't matter which way you move it will stay locked To put the gimbal in all follow mode, you click on the mode button four times, one, two, three, four. You get four LED flashes. What that does is, no matter what direction you move, the gimbal will follow. So you move left, you go left, you go right, you go right, you go down, you move down, and then you go up, you move up, you pan, you pan to the right, you pan to the left, you go left. The iSteady Pro 2 have a 3600 mAh battery that you can use as a power bank to charge your mobile devices by using the USB Type A charging port here. I give Hohem a plus for including this. That is very awesome to able to use a gimbal to charge your devices. To activate the pan follow, press on the mode button once. To activate the pan and tilt mode, press on the mode one twice. To activate the all lock, 
press on the mode one three times. To activate the all follow, click on the mode one four times. For sport mode, click on the trigger button and hold it. Six hundred degree inception mode using the joystick. Hohim have an app that you can download from the App Store or the Google Play Store depend on which device you have to remotely control the gimbal. After you install the apps, just click on the app to open it. And what you do is go through and select the gimbal that you have. And on the bottom, click on connecting device. And your device will show up in the device list and just click on the device that you have and then click connect. Here's the control for the gimbal. It shows the battery life of the gimbal. You get the joystick here to move up, down, left and right and you have the motion lapse, the recenter trigger and you have the pan follow, the tilt follow all lock and all follow on the bottom. Move the joystick to control the gimbal up, down, left, right. And then when you click on a time lap, you can control the gimbal from th negative 30 degree to plus 30 degree. And you could calibrate the gimbal from this app and you go into settings, you open the setting, you have all the speed control on the gimbal that you could uh, adjust to your preference. I will test and try out the iSteady Pro 2 gimbal for a few weeks and we'll be back with a full review videos for you guys. If you have any questions and a comment, drop it in the comment section down below. To help the channel out, click on the subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification bell button for more videos update. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.